So if you look here, this is the old igniter and you can see here is the connection of the igniter. So here is the igniter that I really purchased here. And this igniter, if I want to show you, it's the same. Okay, this igniter cost $17. It's coming from a company called, it's actually, I didn't purchase it on Amazon, I, I purchased it uh, for North America HA, but they're also selling on Amazon, the same company. And figure out that this is really the part that replaced this old part. Okay, so it's actually the same thing, and we want to see how does it look. Now, I will tell you, don't, to don't touch it, not because of the oil on your finger, but you might break it. It's very, very sensitive. So let's check the resistance. First thing I want to check, I want to show you how I'm checking this igniter to see if it's, it's uh, okay. So I put it here, you can see, to 200 ohm. Because I expect the ohm to be between 50 to 200, correct? And here it's the ohmmeter. And now look where is the igniter is inside because I want to protect it. To test it, I don't really need to take it out of this box. I just need to test the two points, the two leads here, the two connections. Okay, so the two leads here, I'm actually put it inside. And you can see the resistance is 78.8 ohm, which means it's between 50 to 200, and it's really very good, it's really new one. When it will come hold, the resistance will go up sometime to 200 even, but it still will work. And this life expectation of this of this uh, igniter is probably five to six years, depend how how long you use the furnace. I just forgot to, to tell you how to check the igniter before you remove it. So this is a new igniter that I put. You see, this is the connector. I remove the connector. It's very easy. You just click it here. There is two clicks, so like that, and it's getting out. You take the ohm meter. Here is the ohm meter. You put it on 200, 200 ohm. Usually the resistance is below 200 ohm, or it might be a little bit between 400 and 200. And you check to see what is the resistance in ohm. So you can see here the resistance is, let me try again because I have to push it. So again, it's 78 ohm exactly. So it's very good. That is the igniter, so igniter is very good. Usually what's happened if the igniter is not good, the resistance, you put it even in 2 meg, and you will get this sign, which is going to be infinite. So you know that the igniter is burned. By the way, you cannot see if it's burned, it's burned internally. And that's the way you're checking the igniter. Now I'm going to connect it back, if you look at that, it's very easy. You just put this one here. Okay, you press this two. And it's inside.